<sighs> Must we continue? Sure, why not? That's why we're Let's here. see. Anything to say about this? And that's it! The mystery! The unanswerable riddle! Actually, they're just a normal pair of panties. What? How is that possible? <laughs> it just takes practice, that's all. Then you must teach me. You must! To think if I could produce a pencil, an eraser, a textbook, and a lunch. Out of your panties? Off of a pair of panties! My life would be complete! <sighs> He's serious, isn't he? Uh, best not to let him rave anymore. Let's let's move on, because this is awkward, very awkward. Yeah, it, worse. Yeah, it will get worse. Last let's go to El Dune's house. No. June sixteenth, El Dune's house. Hey, it's Mr. El Dune. Oh, Mr. El Dune. Mm -hmm. What's wrong? So you found my stand. That's why I'm here. Thank you. Ah. But now it's a crime scene, and they won't let me have it back. That's also why I'm here. I got I got no other place to go. Ah, huh. I see. How can a noodle stand be a crime scene? That's what I don't get, Trusty. Oh. Even in death, he's after my neck. I tell ya, bah. Can't even cook an honest noodle. Was he hiding that? <laughs> he? Animation. Even in death. You mean the victim, Mr. Maractus. I tell ya. It's enough to drive a man to make his soup even saltier. Remind me never to eat his noodles when he's in a bad mood. Alright. Let's talk about this noodle stand. That stand, for generations, it served with the very best noodles us L. Dunes could make. Traditional no of noodles and salty broth. Blood, sweat, and tears and all that. It's more the stand. It's history, I tell ya. Watch what you say, or it might become true. That was a pun! That's a great story, Mr. L. Dune. A single stand passed down from generation to generation. Of course, to be honest, I didn't plan on doing it. That's right. You said something about that. About you reveling against your pops, was it? Good memory, Tristan. Oh, ah, uh, it was. A, I was a go-getter back in my day. Until my friend next door bought it in. In the end, I was left with nothing but this dusty old stand to earn my fortune. Mr. Eldoon, I don't mean to pry, but I'm going to do that. But what exactly did you do before you became a chef? Bah! That old noodles lie, that's what I say. I'm starting to get an idea of what he did anyway. He stole my dreams and left me with nothing but noodles. And now I don't even have that! <laughs> Mr. Eldoon, if I might ask, what exactly happened between you and the Maractus Clinic? Eh? Eh? Couldn't help but sense enmity there. Enmity? I hate him. Er, uh, I hate him. He acting like smelling like roses when he's rolling mud. I excuse me? He's the only doctor of that clique. You know? Pretty impressive, eh? I'll tell you the secret of success. The mob. Dun dun dun. You mean the Kataki family? They're always having at one of them tier fours or whatnot. Always an injury to what needs fixing. Ragnar saw a chance for some business. So we started giving the Kataki family a good deal. A deal? Free noodles. <laughs> every fifth operation for free. Got a scratch card and everything. He stole the idea from my pops. One free bowl of noodles a week, he used to I say. I said free noodles. Can a doctor just decide to do that? What about the insurance companies? Oh, no doubt it's illegal. But I got him good with the family. Pretty soon he was getting all the business in town. Believe the insurance it. companies don't care if you're operating on the mob. They're insurance companies. Leaving me here 
in the dark. Up to my neck and super noodles. I think I figured out Mr. Eldoon's former occupation. Can't hurt to ask, Apollo. Are you a doctor? <laughs> Mr. Eldoon, or should I say, Dr. Eldoon. Figure it out, did you? I wasn't actually a doctor, I played one on TV. That's right, I was a doctor. A surgeon. Until uh, the year before last. So, Mr. Maractus was your rival? Mmm, you like those onions they put in the soup broth? Uh, yeah, sure. You take a spoon, you drink some broth, those onions will find their way in there. If people like them, that's just fine. If people hate them, I hate onions! Hate them! Always sneaking in from the side, getting in the way of a good tasting spoonful! Well, that's what he was. An onion! Onion boy! That's what I call him! So, uh, you weren't friends. Ha! Ah, me and Pal Maractus. Ever since preschool, we were getting in each other's face. No matter what we did, sure enough, he came falling along. And he'd do better than me. Just blow right past me about such a howdy or anything. I see. That's right, I was a surgeon long before he was, you know. Alright, no good onion boy game along. <laughs> well, Trucy, looks like we found ourselves a new suspect. Don't say that! Thanks to him, I was forced to trade in my scalpel for a ladle. Sorry, pal. Didn't mean to weigh you down with an old man's ramblings. No. That's quite all right. By way of apology, you ever get yourself in a spot of trouble, you drop by. Huh? You're on Vesca Miraculous, aren't you? Yeah. Well, you want to know about a doctor, you ask a doctor. That's all I'm saying. Why didn't you speak up before? You're just thinking maybe you need something, Trisha. Oh. Right. Thanks, Mr. Aldoon. Hmm, I guess the time spent listening to him complain wasn't entirely wasted. People make money on this kind of thing. And the telephone is ringing. One moment. One phone call later. We're back. Instruct additional voice actor. If we could get a little Super Friends logo, that'd be good. Yes, that would be nice, wouldn't it? But no, unfortunately, we can't do that. So, um, with that in mind, we are we need to... Oh, wait. Let's check out the clinic. Well, we've got to check out the clinic. That's for sure. Yeah, but what about the guard? No harm in asking. Um, excuse me. Hey, it's you two from yesterday. Same officer that was standing out by the park yesterday. Your business is over in the park, isn't it? The clinic's off limits. It's not involved. But, but... It is involved. What part of off-limits do you not understand, little girl? How is it off-limits without being involved? Show me proof that a clinic is connected to the incident in the park, or beat it. Just beat it. Beat it! No harm in asking, huh? Well, no gain either. No point in sticking around here, I guess. And? No, oh, there's nothing else here, is there? Did I have to present anything? My apologies, this uh, this particular investigation is always been a little bit um, awkward, generally. So, anyways, let's keep on moving. Let's go to the uh, Kentucky Mansion, because we haven't been there yet! June 16th, Kentucky Mansion! Yes, she's back! She lives there! Hey, you two! Over here! Uh, uh, us? Yo, little plum, what's up? I think all this gangster ease is a negative influence on Trucy. I heard you retrieved my bloomers! Bah! A man speaks clearly and takes credit where it's due. If he even speaks at all. <laughs> okay. You caught the thief, didn't you? Uh, yes, sorry, uh, yeah, I completely caught him. 
with his pants down. <laughs> you're cute when you're nervous, Polly. I'll I'll deal with you later. I'll feel her blood on my hands. 